Yeah, and that's Finn. We've been walking through the bush for a while, and um, it's close. I mean, it's sort of beeping all around us now, so we know we must be on it. Um, and this is what we're thinking is the poachers cut off the collar and then ran into the bush and threw it somewhere. So it could be anywhere. We've just got everyone sp spread out looking for this collar, and we're trying to f trace this beeping noise. Search under the bushes, in holes, like right down into the termite hill. Sometimes they push it down. Yeah. Um, and look in the soil as well in case they've buried it. Um, but really, this is very exciting. We could be within, we could be within 50 meters. Yeah, maybe it'll, in case it's going that way. They've cut it, I can see this is the edge of the collar oh, already. Oh, must have, yeah. Here, let's, see? look, there it is. Yeah, we've actually found Kanali's collar um, after about two hours of trekking through the bush and um, picking up the signal. We went round and round this termite mound about four times and we eventually found it because someone just tripped over the edge of this sticking out of the, out of the dirt. And it looks like the poachers buried it, turned it upside down, and hope that the signal from the collar would actually go into the earth. And instead, we've got these fantastic receivers and we managed to pick up the collar. So we're, it, it, we're elated. Um, on the side, it has STE 130, which is the number of Kanani's collar um, and, his, and his frequency. So we know for certain, 100%, this is Kanani's collar. Um, and he was poached quite some distance from here. Um, probably about a kilometre, so they must have cut it off with a panga, um, dug this hole uh, well away from the carcass and hoped that we'd never find it, but they didn't judge on our Save the Elephants team having a crack team to find it. Um, so we're very happy and um, we're extremely hot, so we're going to go home now um, and take this collar and see if we can find out what happened to him.